Okay, this is Dragon Opportunity, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In the last video, I fought Sword Saint Ishin, and I got his memory for an increased attack power. You know, to fight him, I grinded a crap ton and got my own attack power up to 15, so that was an extra two levels. I used a lot of shit and yeah through sheer determination I I want to say I beat the final boss of Sekiro so that's every single boss defeated except for a certain different ending boss uh, but I'll go through that at a later point so now we've got uh, Kuro here Kind of acting like the first flame bonfire in Dark Souls 3. Yeah. So we can kneel to him and we can choose an ending. Now if I straight up give him the dragon tears, this will activate the immortal severance ending, which is your default ending. If I give him the Dragon Tears and the Ever Blossom, which you get from going through Emma's quest and defeating the stronger version of the Owl at the Harata Estate memory, you will get the Purification ending. And if you give him the Dragon Tears and the Frozen Tears, which you get from the Divine Child of Rejuvenation through her quest line, you will get the Return ending. Now it's really debatable which one of these is canon or which one you think is the true ending. People think it's a return ending because of how convoluted it is to get there. I honestly don't know which ending is the is the right ending. So with the help of a little bit of editing magic I'm going to show you guys all three endings. Yay for save file copying. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to pick an ending on my own. I'm going to cut this here to show you the three different endings. And then I'll discuss my thoughts of this game in the credits. So, yeah, I guess I'll pick an ending. So with that, viewers, I'll see you when the credits roll.
これはやはりあなたが持っていてください。また新しい忍びが力を求める時が来るでしょう。おそばにおります。最後の不死を成敗いたす。行かれるのですね。はい。私も。人として懸命に生き。そして死のうと思います。我が忍びがそうしてくれたようにエマ殿にもお世話になりましたおそばにおります。参りましょう。
我が巫女クロードの今はどうか安らかに私の心にとどまってください。さようなら、みんな。私は、行かねばなりません。我らの因果を、断ち切るために。とても長い旅になります。それでも共に、来てくださるのですかはい。ありがとう、竜の忍びよ。九郎殿も喜んでおります。参、ま、りましょう。西に、神なる竜の故郷へ。Okay, I've hopefully shown you guys the free endings. So we've had the Immortal Severance ending where you kill Kuro and you assume the sculptor's role. You have the Redemption? No, Purification ending where you kill yourself to make Kuro mortal. Or you have the return ending where I assume Kuro's spirit goes into the Divine Child of Rejuvenation to be reborn. And she and Sekiro journey to the West to bring the dragon's heritage or something like that back to its original country, which many people are assuming is either China or. India, depending on what you think the Journey to the West is about. And I know there's a bunch of media about Journey to the West and about the Monkey Guy. Or the Monkey King! Yeah, I think it's the Monkey King. So yeah, there's these three, and there's also that fourth ending, which I still need to get to. So I think I'm gonna go reach it in New Game Plus. I was originally thinking maybe I should do it in a different new game file, but honestly, I just want to get the ending and not have any trouble with it, so maybe new game plus for it. So, yeah, that's pretty much Sekiro. That is all of Sekiro done for now. Until they have the DLC come out, which I assume is going to be about、uh, the guy with the. Dragon's Heritage before Kuro and Lady Tomoe. So that's gonna be fun. Uh huh, I can't wait to fight Lady Tomoe. That's gonna be fun. Maybe I go into her memory and kill them. Probably. Yeah. So I guess while the credits are rolling, I'm just gonna say my thoughts about the game. I. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I had a lot of raging moments against certain bosses. So, the four in particular were the. the Guardian Ape, the. the Flame Demon, maybe a bit of trouble with Genichiro and the Owl. The Owl rematch, I definitely had trouble with. 
and Sword Saint Ishin. I actually had to grind 10 levels to get 2 attack power more in order to be able to fight him better. I don't know if it did any difference in the end, but it feels like it did. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I thoroughly enjoyed the gameplay, the lore, the graphics, the, the environments, the boss fights, even with some of the rages. I fully enjoyed the boss fights. So yeah, from software, you've done another good job. So yeah, I know the Dark Souls series and Bloodborne and Sekiro isn't the only software made by from software. I know they've done previous tiles in the past, like Armored Core, and I still need to get around to trying those out. Whether I'll do that or not at some point, uh, who knows. Also, I still need to try out Demon Souls. Also, I need to finish the playthrough of Bloodborne. <laughs> I've got the footage and the commentary lying around. I just need to edit and render the freaking thing. So that's probably going to be a thing that comes out during the summer holidays. Just me finishing old playthroughs that I haven't done. So yeah, I fully enjoy Sekiro. I can't recommend it enough to everyone. And apparently the PC version has some crazy-ass mods, which are hilarious to me. <laughs> you can play as Kuro, you can play as Emma, you can apparently wear the Naruto outfit on Sekiro. So like the Hogar, the, the Hogage coat. Yeah. You know, I never made the edit that the Naruto village was actually called Konohagakure. Ah, well. I'm pretty sure just the Naruto Village made more sense on the video title. So, yeah, I'm not sure what else I can talk about. I'm, I've had a blast playing this game. I mean, I kind of stopped playing it for a month between fighting Ishin, but yeah, coming back to it, I had a lot of fun. Even if there was about maybe collectively a day of raging. <laughs> At the boss fights. Maybe. I doubt it's a day. Maybe like 12 hours. 12, 16 hours. I just gotta add up all the 0.5 parts together. Uh huh. So I think there's still some things I need to show off in this game. Let's see, there's... There's the alternate ending where you choose to follow the Iron Code and you fight a different boss. And killing them... Activates New Game Plus early. So there's that. I want to try and get all of the trophies, achievements on this, so hopefully platinum it. There's also... Also the alternate quest line for certain people. Yeah, whether I'm going to show that off in a different save file or just go on this file. I don't know. I honestly don't know. You know, this might actually be the shortest video. <laughs> In the series, if the credits aren't too long. Well, I suppose I could uh, take a look at New Game Plus. Oh, hell no, that'll be a different series altogether. If it is a series, that is. Yeah. So, let's see, the credits are done. Start playthrough 2 now. If you choose not to start New Game Plus now, you may do so by accessing the large sculptor's idol in the dilapidated temple at any time. Tell you what, there's actually something I want to get before I start New Game Plus. So let me quickly go and get that. Uh huh. So if it would load. So the large sculptor's idol. You mean the one I've always used, or. Is there something that replaces the sculptor? No, it's this one. Yeah, I'm fine there. Can't do anything there. Use the battle memories. That's it, Max. Oh yeah, part of the platinum is getting all of these. Oh, that's gonna be uh, fun. I suppose if I'm dedicating the entire playthrough to just getting these, then it won't be too bad. I hope. Well, mind you, I say that, but it's about 55,000 experience to level up. 
The 20,000 I got from Ishin didn't but a dent. Well, it did but a little bit of a dent, but it didn't do much. And let's see, I need Lazulite. Oh yeah, I only get Lazulite from going the Serve Kuro path, so if I do the Iron Code path on one playthrough, then I can't get the Lazulite until New Game Plus Plus. Oh, that's going to be fun. That will be fun when I get to it. So, knock knock. And I guess I might as well see if Emma has anything else to say. Now a lot of you know saved Kuro. Giving him a mortal life. Oh yeah, I kind of picked the... Uh, I picked the purification ending for the save file. Even though I did, you know, use a bit of... Save file copying to get all three endings. Let's see. Guard seed. Drink. And you don't say anything else. Well, uh, that's all I can do around here. There's nothing else I can do. There is a little something I can do here. And as to pick up an item before I go into New Game Plus. An item which I'm surprised I didn't get. Also, a shortcut I'm surprised I didn't unlock. It's going to be useless doing the shortcut since I'm going into New Game Plus, but yeah, I kind of want to get them now. So, something I forgot. Something I forgot. Yeah, yeah, go past everyone. Uh huh. Hello, goodbye. Uh, I believe it was over here. And I believe it was through here. Yes, an item. Bundle Jizo statue. Yeah, that'll replace the many I used in the Ishin fight. So, if that's sorted, I just need to get back to a statue and get back to the beginning. And I'm really surprised I didn't lock the shortcut. It might have saved me a bit of walking. Yeah. Ah, well. Hello! Goodbye! Hello! Goodbye. There we go. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to do in this video. I've shown off the endings. I've gotten that Jesus statue for the next game cycle. I guess... The only thing I can do is go into New Game Plus. And I guess I can take a quick look at this. Real quick. You'll be unable to return to the current playthrough. Well, I've done everything I can, so... Let's go then. Where does it take me? Where does it start me off at? Is it going to start me off at the very beginning or straight after the tutorial place? Only one way to find out. I see a flame. Okay, you're showing me the intro again. Oh! Kuro's charm. Okay, so I have stuff, but it's all locked. I assume until I get a certain item. Uh, Kuro's charm. Charm received from Kuro, placed on the wolf's person in secret after he lost his life in a rotter estate and gained the power of resurrection. The charm has protected the wolf well, tempering his ordeals. To part with it would mean facing a path of hardship beyond that endured thus far. Now I believe this is a hard mode item. 
if you give it to Kuro in the New Game Plus cycle, then it will activate a harder mode. So the enemies will be stronger, they'll have more life, I assume. I'm not actually sure what it does. <laughs> Alright, final time to the wiki! Uh, Sekiro Wiki, Kuro's Charm. So, Kuro's Charm. When you speak to Kuro in the tower at the start of the game, you have the option of giving it to him, resulting in a permanent hard mode difficulty debuff, similar to ringing the demon bell. You will now receive chip damage, tested to be roughly 30% when blocking attacks, effectively changing your playstyle, requiring, requiring you to deflect perfectly. Enemy vitality and posture is increased. Regular enemies that would normally be posture broken and vulnerable to a death blow after a single Mikiri counter will instead recover. Needs further testing, seems like you do half as much damage, but so do things like the burning bull to the enemies in the arena. You take 25% more vitality and posture damage, as well as receiving significantly more posture damage if you block an attack instead of deflecting. Status effects such as poison build up roughly 40% faster. Tested a poison pool for both charm and no charm. With charm it takes 13.3 seconds to get poisoned. Without charm it takes about 7.8 seconds to get poisoned. Wait, what? Oh, with the charm. Oh, I get it now. This debuff stacks with negative effects like the Demon Bell. This debuff does carry a benefit, increasing experience and send gain by 20%. I'd rather not do that, if I'm honest. If given to Kuro at the start of the game, can be reacquired from the Sculptor, who mentions it was entrusted to him by Emma, by selecting the Avoid Additional Hardships dialogue option in Confirm Your Decision. Note that if you ever choose to take the charm back and return the difficulty to normal, you cannot give it away again and are stuck with it until your current playthrough. This option to regain charm remains even after the sculptor's leaves in the final part of the game. Ah, okay. All that just for experience and money. I have no need mo for money, and I assume I'm going to get enough experience f in the next two playthroughs, so... I ain't giving that to him. I am not giving that to him. Hell no. <laughs> At my original arm. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, I guess of that... I'm done. <laughs> so, let's do a quick... Check at the trophies real quick. I know I said that twice. So let's see, Immortal Severance. Attain the Immortal Severance ending. Purification. Attain the Purification ending. And return. Or Dragon's Homecoming. Attain the Return ending. So there is one more ending to unlock, and that requires me to do the Iron Code boss fight. So I guess with that, yeah, I am done. <laughs> I'm done here for now. So yeah, this has been Dragon of Attorney going through more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In this video, I showed off the three of the... F the three of the four? Yeah, I showed off three out of the four endings, which you get by following Kuro. So you got the Immortal Severance ending, you got the Purification ending, and you got the Return ending. In the next video... Now, I don't know whether I'm going to do a whole series on your game plus, but I might record it in my off time, just for its own little thing in the future. So yeah, the next episode, I'm going to be showing off that other boss fight that I didn't do. So I'll be following the Iron Code, and I'll be fighting a boss fight I haven't fought before. And getting that final ending. So, yeah, I guess for me, it'll be quite a bit of gameplay, but for you guys, it'll probably be a couple of days. 
So, yeah. With that planned out, with my rambling hopefully done, until next time.